don't know the name of it. It's lovely. It's the second one. guys on a little straw. Really, really needed nature today. Had a very, very trying week. I'm um, having to travel, tend to a family matter um, with all that's going on in the world. It's very, very nice and much needed to spend some time a little bit of nature. Really needed this today. I didn't think I did. I was going to run some errands and I pass this all the time when I come this direction to go to a particular store. Um, and I decided to pull over because I love stopping here. Wasn't planning on doing it today, but again, really, really needed to get out and to spend some time in nature even in a little community park it'll do it's perfect actually so this community garden is in Carrollton Texas well technically farmers branch um, it's Carrollton farmers branch it's a little community again garden um, it's predominantly rose bushes um, but there's obviously other plants here um, and you'll find a lot of people come here to take photos and a lot of that's going on right now, which I will try not to capture um, because I don't care. Um, also, I see folks taking, you know, seniors taking graduation pictures and whatnot, which is awesome. So I'll just take a little stroll and show you guys some of the beautiful rose bushes here. I'm not a rose person um, at all. I do appreciate the beauty of roses, however, because I appreciate the beauty of all plants. So, roses included. But I can't give you names and things like that because I do not know. Well, I can read them. So, let's see. What do we have here? What is this? Promises Shrub. Not sure what that means. Um, you can adopt, you can see here, you can actually adopt a rose bed. That's pretty cool. Um, I like roses. Uh, I like white roses a lot. I enjoy those. So let's just take a little stroll. There's a lot of large grasses here as well. And I love grasses. I like different types of grass. Um, I used to have a lot planted in a home that I had a few years ago. And it really, really adds a nice element to your landscaping to have different types of. I liked the pump, Pampas, I think it was called. Um, purple fountain grass are the two that I recall. This is on a major street too so apologies for engine sounds however I have no control over that um, oh there's some pretty peach pink or peach looking roses we might see some some bees as well look at this it's so pretty wow wow now that's gorgeous I'm gonna snap a photo too think I did let's see isn't that beautiful wow I saw a bee too so I don't know where he went probably shouldn't worry about him too much anyway okay let's keep moving see what we can find they have nomenclatures I'm sure those nomenclatures mean something but I have no idea so, yeah, guys, I hope you're having a good weekend um, and you're enjoying your Saturday. Uh, I'm actually not, other than this stop. I had a family member that was admitted in the hospital yesterday or before day, so I've been up 
with them and you know trying to make sure they're settled and I'm a little tired but this is a nice pick me up let's turn I see some yellow roses but I hope you're having a great day and I think my day will change after this visit to see the roses look at that beautiful beautiful moving. Hopefully I'm not moving you guys too fast. Hope not. So probably be a oh look at that beauty. Look at that. What I'm saying is you don't really have to like roses to appreciate the beauty in that one. My camera cut off. I'm thinking it might be the heat because it is in the 90s right now. Not liking that too much. Look at that, gorgeous. Okay, and you can see all the shrubbery, which I have no idea what that is. There's a little garden art out here as well. It's cute. And there's a little, some water over there with ducks. I will go check that out so you guys can see that. So, very nice hear wind chimes. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Well, I don't know if they're wind chimes, but they're chimes or bells, okay? Look at that dark pink. Hot pink. Wow. Pretty. Okay. It's an event happening to my right, so... Well, try not to film that, but look at this. Very nice. I love that. You can see the arches. Here's the grass that I love that's here. Uh, I was here a few months ago and I took pictures in them and they had flowered. So they were huge. And you can see they line here. But um, yeah, they had nice flowers. They kind of looked like, hey, I really enjoyed them. So I took photos in them, but the grass, I love this grass. If I had a, a larger lawn, I would have plant some in my garden, but I don't have the space for plants this size. Stick to my large Apuntia. So let's cut through here. I'm gonna take you over to where, oh, a rabbit just ran through, guys. Did you guys see that, a rabbit? I'm gonna take you over to the water and see if we can see the ducks. It is so nice. Hope you're enjoying this. It really is lifting my spirits, my mood. You know, that's what plants in nature do for you. That's what I love about it. Look at these. What are these? Anybody know what these are? Comment down below if you know what that is. Well, my shadow's in it, but look at that. Gorgeous. What is that? Wow. I love those. Okay. I see some people. I forgot to record them. Is this lavender? Here. No, I'm a cactus and succulent person predominantly, so yeah, I know house plants and tropicals. I know some because I've done a lot of landscaping outside, but they're more like Texas native plants. So when you get outside of that for outdoor stuff, I'm not your girl. Each so, I see one lone duck. So let's see. Lilies over there popping up. Which I love. Let's see, there's the wind up. 
See a gentleman over here that's fishing. I'm not sure that's legal, but whatever. Whatever. He ain't hurt nobody. He's breaking the law. He's hurting the city, but he ain't hurting me. Okay, there's one duck. I'll get to see if I can get closer, but there's more here. There's a, a do you say a herd of ducks? I mean, I don't know. But there's a bunch. That's a gaggle. A gaggle of ducks. Is that, or is that goose or geese? Let's see if we can see this guy. There he is. You guys see him? Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. But he's the only one. So let's see if we can see any more before I end this yeah. video. Getting some shade and some Z's right now. So I don't know how close I can get. Well, you guys can see, but you can see there's, there's one right there. That one, and then this one. So, let's see if we can get a little closer. Hi, guys. Hi. You guys see us? It's hard to see. They're on there. They're really good. There he is. His feet. There he is. Cute. Hi. Let's see, there's, it's nice. There's a little playground. There's a party going on down there. A water feature. It's beautiful. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of the community garden in Carrollton Farmers Branch. And let me know if you have something like this in your neighborhood or where you live area. And do you go to it often? enjoy it um, drop a comment down below um, if you like this video and want to see more let me know hit the uh, like button and consider subscribing so I guess I'll see you in the next video bye this is actually cool they have a little um, book box where you can a free little library you can take a book and leave a book. How cute is that? I'm gonna open it up. And look at there. Some great books in there. See anything good? Ah, the grass is always greener with the septic tank. Cute. Nine stories. Oh, that, that, I might take this one. I'm gonna take this one read this one. Tomboy Bride. That might be interesting. Um, so I'm going to take two and then I'm going to bring back two. I got Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger and Tomboy Bride.